my name is Anna Rose, and I am the co-host of a podcast called Zero Knowledge. We talk about decentralized things, including some Ethereum things. I'm Alessandro. I'm out of Italy, based in Zurich, and I run a small VC called Kaizen VC. And my name is Eric Lamison White, the co-founder of Pareto Network, which is a financial content marketplace built on the Ethereum blockchain. It's uh, Peter van Grinsven. I'm the CEO of Antitle. And Antitle is a e-commerce project, e-commerce, blockchain commerce for gaming. So I'm Dana Cristini. I work for Cryo Solutions. We build enterprise solutions for companies and we're like blockchain agnostic. My name is Federico Malvezzi. I'm a founder and managing director at uh, Aidcoin. Uh, we bring transparency into the charity and profit sector using blockchain. Uh, my name is Ellen. I work at MME Legal Tax Compliance and um, I'm kind of a project manager. I work for, uh, for one of the DApps, obviously, and we want to take an active role in the space. I found a lot of interesting people from, from different countries and different businesses coming here, so I just wanted to network and get to know more about the people around the ecosystem. Learn more about evolutions of Ethereum and to be part of the community. Well, of course, I wanted to learn uh, things about what's going on in the, uh, in the community. Today there was a great meeting with Vitalik about, uh, about the economics of, of gas costs and afterwards there was a discussion on the, uh, the governance of uh, smart contracts, government of the blockchain, and all these uh, subjects are important for uh, the future. One question to Vitalik. Ooh, one question to Vitalik. Nothing. <laughs> oh gosh, I mean... I'll just ask him how he is. What he thinks could be a great project we could do together to bring more and more of a social impact projects into the blockchain. What is his biggest worry in making sure that this actually becomes a really a world phenomenon? Right now it's, uh, uh, it's not to the masses yet and it's not something adopted by users. How do you get adoption? I, I probably would leave, leave his time to him. Why did he decide to be vocal about EIP-999 to air yesterday and not when it exploded? I think uh, interoperability of blockchains will be key. Ethereum. We grew up with Ethereum. I'm personal experience into the blockchain started because of Ethereum. Bitcoin is a currency, Ethereum is a platform. Bitcoin surely is a safer bet because it's a, it's a very unique positioning. I heard the other day that 94% of all projects are built on Ethereum, so it's also certainly not going to go away. You know, there was one story when I got in touch with uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. I asked a colleague to, to give him a bit of an idea and he said, you know, Bitcoin is just about, like, a stupid idea, go to Ethereum, but... <laughs> they can coexist. They're, they're completely different systems and they completely serve different purposes. I mean, I'm biased, but Ethereum, I, I think that what you really need to look at is where the developer communities live. And currently in Ethereum, there's, I think, I don't know what the exact newest number is, but, you know, in the range of 30x more developers, 30 maybe 30,000 X, I mean, it's some huge multiple more developers uh, in Ethereum than in Bitcoin. And I think that's just a natural th part of the fact that Ethereum has much more to offer developers. <laughs> oh, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs>